I have a recommendation for you today, okay? This one, listen, let me tell you, this is a sick recommendation. So, survival horror. If you like a really scary game, and I mean a game that will really get under your skin, okay? This is for the, 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 the fear fans out there, like myself. As many of you know, I like really scary stuff that really upsets me. And that game is Signalis, okay? Signalis, you have to go play Signalis, okay? Signalis, oh my god, let me get you some of these amazing, let me just show you some of this, uh, some of these screenshots real quick. I took a whole bunch of screenshots because, oh my god, is this game amazing. First of all, some of you saw me post this one last night, which is just rather ominous. It, in and of itself, it's not all that scary. Um, but, uh, but, oh my god, this game is just so awesome, okay? Uh, it is so sick. There is so much stuff, like, okay, so, how do I start this review? Signalis is a, is a survival horror game, very, very, very heavily inspired by Silent Hill. So, if you like Silent Hill, or if you like the old school Resident Evil games, you will probably find yourself very much at home in Signalis. It is a, a a game that prides itself on on that feeling that you get when you're like, oh no, I have to go back in there, or oh no, I can't believe I have to go in there. Um, that is a a lot of the game is like, oh my god, they set you up for horrifying situations and then go, oh yeah, oh yeah, you're going in, you have to go in there. It's like, uh, uh, amazing. It's amazingly good at that. Uh, and the whole game has this oppressive, terrifying atmosphere to the degree that it, it like, it, it, it infected my dreams. Uh, uh, like, I've been having Signalis dreams for the last few days uh, because of how scary and unsettling it is. And also, as an added bonus, just for those of you out there who are like, huh, I want to be scared, but where's my girlfriend? This game is gay as hell, okay? The, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how, but I'm telling you, this game, gay as hell, okay? So, if you're, if you're like, I want to be scared, but I want to have a, I want to have a girlfriend, and be gay about it, this is the game for you. Uh, Signalis is, uh, a, uh, eldritch cyber horror, uh, and it is great, okay? It is just awesome. I love it. Uh, it is a very, very reasonably length uh, game. I think my current playthrough is about 10 hours. It took me about 10 hours to beat the main campaign. Uh, however, it does have some pretty significant replay value as there are multiple endings to the game that depend pretty heavily on how you play the game. Um, I am at the very tail end of the game, so I have a, a little bit more to beat, uh, but I love this game. Uh, the game is sort of played between two types of, of, of gameplay. There is, uh, uh, the sort of top-down fixed camera where you're, you know, like Silent Hill. Your, your camera's locked into place and you move through an environment and there are enemies and there are, are, are terrifying sights. And then there are these first-person segments where the game suddenly sort of puts you in the eyes of your character and you usually have to trudge through something terrifying. Um, and it is really, really good. Uh, the, the, the game shines in its storytelling. Uh, it has a very, very richly built out world uh, and it is, uh, uh, the imagery is, is breathtaking and very, very unsettling. Uh, heavily inspired by, um, by uh, various sort of eldritch horror, not just Lovecraft, though there's definitely some Lovecraft in it. Um, the, what is the name? What is his name? Um, uh, the, the text, um, Ro oh yes, the, the, the King in Yellow by Robert W. Chambers, which is also a, a sort of uh, foundational piece to the eldritch horror genre as a whole, uh, is, is directly referenced in this game. So, uh, that sort of crawling horror, uh, psychological, uh, heavy psychological elements, um, is, is what you can expect from this game. It's a book, yeah. 
Uh, can Demon Mama see me here? Yes, I can. I can see you everywhere. We are all bound by the by the collective nightmare that we live in, and I can see you everywhere. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, it is wild. Is are there spiders? No, I actually don't think there's any spiders in the game. I don't think. Um, I don't think I've encountered any spiders. Um, yeah, not that I can think of. Uh, it's a it's a cybernetic uh, it's it's a very cybernetic horror. There's a lot of uh, 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 there is a lot of contemplation and imagery that that centers around the interface of man and machine, which uh, I love that type of stuff. Um, uh, some of you will know that like Doom 2016, for example, in its visual imagery is a lot about that. However, Doom 2016 doesn't have a particularly deep story, whereas Signalis does. Signalis uh, is is very much uh, a game that is about the politics of cybernetics. Uh, it is a game that talks about dehumanization um, to the degree that like uh, people aren't even called people anymore. Uh, like the the world of the future refuses people, like refuses to allow people to be called people. They are sorted into two different types of beings: gestalts, which are uh, you know um, they're they're what we would consider humans. They're un un cybernetically enhanced uh, human beings. Uh, and then replicas, which are are like uh, semi-organic cyborgs, and uh, there's no the word people is not allowed. The word human is no longer allowed. Uh, it is a, a very dark future. It is a uh, I think I called it a uh, cybernetic disaster future, and uh, from there it just gets scarier and scarier. Uh, it is a very meaty game. The Everything hits really hard. All of the movement is uh, heavily limited. If you are injured, you move slowly. Uh, the enemies are stronger than you, uh, and you have to be very careful about how you use your resources. All in all, love Signalis. Uh, if you are a fan of truly terrifying games, you should play Signalis. And when I say terrifying, there are, I don't think there's a single jump scare in this entire game, at least not one that I've encountered. There are basically no jump scares, um, but that doesn't matter because this game is a game that never lets you rest. Uh, you you are constantly looking over your shoulder. Uh, uh, nothing is ever permanently gone. Every monster that you fight uh, could be lurking right around the corner again. Uh, it's terrifying and I love it uh, and, uh, and, uh, and oh and the visual style is amazing uh, let me show you some of the characters real quick just because I think you all will will like it um, so the, 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 the cinematics are told in these sort of like uh, blocky corrupted uh, uh, half memories which is really cool um, you can see here like this is how like the sort of general like cinematics are done but all of the characters are, for the most part, basically cyborg anime girls. And they're really cool in their design. Yeah, here you go. Here's your, here's our main character right here. You can see they're like cyborg anime girls. Um, and it, it actually makes the game more upsetting in a way. You'd kind of think, oh, well, you know, cyborg anime girls, what's scary about that? Well, you'll understand when you realize the type of future that these cyborg anime girls have been put into, and also that uh, the, the the cyborg anime girls they're, they're not they're not having a good time. Okay, the cyborg anime girls are not having a good time, even a little bit. Okay, but uh, anyway, go check out Signalis. You will not regret it uh, if you are a fan of horror. Uh, uh, some of you might be too scared to play through it, uh, but maybe challenge yourself because it's a worthy play. Uh, it is a very political game. Um, once again, as you all know, I love my politics in my video games. Uh, not uh, quite as uh, blatantly political as uh, a game like Citizen Sleeper, which I recommended last stream, uh, but certainly political. So go check it out. Okay.